Mila Folcha, August Lo Fela Hanedic. That means 100,000 welcomes and happy St. Patrick's Day in Gaelic. My name is Chef Diane Stopford, and this week what I'm going to do is show you how to cook up the ultimate St. Paddy's Day feast. And I'm talking real Irish food cooked by yours truly, a real Irish girl. What we have here is some beef and Guinness. That's my dad's recipe. Some Col Cannon some Irish soda bread with our lovely Irish cheeses and butter, and of course, all washed down with the perfect Irish coffee. You can't have food without drink in Ireland, and of course, one of our most famous drinks is the Irish coffee. The Irish coffee was actually developed by a barman, Dan, at Shannon Airport in the west of Ireland, and he wanted to create a nice warm drink for some Irish tourists that were coming in on their transatlantic flights. So he mixed some coffee, along with some good Irish whiskey and a little cream, and that's how the Irish coffee was born. To start off making your Irish coffee, get some nice, strong coffee like I have here. What you want to add to it is some brown sugar. Just put that in and stir it around and make sure it gets dissolved. What the sugar is going to do is it's actually going to help you float the cream on top, which is kind of the most important part, other than the whiskey. Next, of course, We've got your Irish whiskey. Now I'm using some Jemison because I'm from Dublin and it's a, a Dublin whiskey, but you know, use whatever Irish whiskey you want. So I'm just gonna pour in our whiskey and don't be mean, of course. And actually whiskey in Irish is Ishkavaha and Ishkavaha means water of life. So you can see how important whiskey is in, to the Irish. And then we're gonna float the cream on top. Now, if you're going to make an Irish coffee, I really think you should do it properly. Don't get out the can of whippy cream and just whip it up on top. You need to pour it on nice and gently, and then you sip the Irish coffee through the cream. So just take a spoon like this and hold it with the back of the spoon facing up, and just pour on some lightly whipped cream. And hopefully, if everything goes to plan, it's just going to float on top and not sink to the bottom and you will get that Irish coffee, almost like a pint of Guinness effect on top. Slowly pour that in. And there you have a traditional Irish coffee. Cheers, or as we say in Ireland, slancha, which means to your help.